Good morning, Krusty Crew. Good morning, everybody. We are officially, officially two weeks out. That uh, is so great. So today is Wednesday, March 7th. 2.39 a.m. I'm about to take my thermal pill and then we're about to get dressed for the gym. So as you guys know, since it's Wednesday, it's my check-in day. So I cannot believe we only have 17 days until my show. So we have about 10 days until peak week, which is why we're two weeks out. We're two and a half weeks out from the show. But I'm just floored a little bit. This is what the abs are looking like currently. We are going to check in after I get back from my 60 minutes of cardio. But we're getting pretty peeled, guys. Getting pretty peeled. So I'm about to change into my gym clothes and head to the gym, do my 60 minutes on the Stairmaster, and then we will weigh ourselves. As you guys know, if you saw the previous vlog, my check-in then was 112.2, 23.5, and I think 34.5 for my glutes. So keep that in mind as I show you guys what it looks like when I'm in my bikini wall. But yeah, I'm just about to go downstairs after I take my thermo and change into my clothes. I am literally going to be sweating the house, okay? Like, I this is my base layer, this is my second layer. It's also freezing in Colorado, so yeah. For reference, this is my first show. I am five foot three, um, just so that you guys have something to reference, and I am with the head coach at Team Elite Physiques, so. All this money is gonna be worth it. I will see y'all when I'm naked in my bikini. Hey, psych, 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 psych. So I just weighed myself like this with my leggings and my sports bra on downstairs because that's the one that's not tracked on my phone. Y'all already know the deal. 111.4 before my Stairmaster, so. I don't know, it's giving, I'm thinking 109.9. I told my fiance that um, yesterday on the phone, I was like, I don't know, I'm thinking I lost like a good amount of weight this week because I stuck to the plan 100%. I did have like um, one extra rice cake every day, but I stuck to the plan. Like I am, I'm not eating off a plan, so. Mind your business. So yeah, this is the top. And then we're gonna go with our Space Force sweatshirt. Right here, right here. I have so much juicy, fun content to watch because Aurelia just uploaded and Shantae just uploaded. So I don't even know who to choose for this 60 minute adventure, but I'm going to choose one of them because I have got to get through this cardio. Um, I cannot wait to get my hair done in two weeks because it just needs to give. Like, I feel like the whole package will come together when y'all don't see me with my twists, which they are growing because if you guys don't know, I am getting married next March and I want to wear my natural hair for the wedding and I want my hair to be about waist length. So she's growing. She's just, I just have them in like the jumbo twists, but the fact that my jumbo twists hang, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. This is what we're working with right now. All right, I need to get a wide angle lens, but this is the fit for right now. And then we're about to add these sweats. I am also going to put my waist trainer on, but it's downstairs before I do my cardio. And then I'm going to hit a little bit of abs. And then we're going to do our check-in. So I will see you guys when I get back. All right, you guys. So I am on the phone with my fiance, as always. It's really early in the morning for him. It's like 5.38. It's 4.38 for me. But 
If y'all can see my crusted and busted face, look at all that dried sweat. Disgusting, right? Yeah. So, I just burned 431 calories and then I did four sets of leg raises. So, I'm about to shower, shave the things I need to shave, just like last time. And then we are going to do our check-in, so stay tuned. Hopefully, I don't know, I'm feeling really skinny today. So. Let's see what we get. All right, you guys, so I just showered. I look like I'm in prep, you know? Um, okay, muscles, don't, don't do me like it, per. But we are about to do our scale, and I, I make everything the same each time, so I need to put my engagement ring on, period, so I can, um, have it be the same for each time so you guys know I have the notes app Aurelia that's how you say her Aurelia uh, she just um, said her name in her video because I was watching her and Shantae's video while I was doing cardio so thank y'all for uploading because y'all be keeping the content filled okay I love having prep pals you know even though I've never met these women but <laughs> yeah so so I have my check-in 21. Let's see how much we weigh. I'm gonna open up my scale app and then just show y'all what's what's happening with it. <sighs> I know y'all see this. What? What? Well, it was 109.2, but what? What? All right, you guys, so you can see, because obviously it was going to add more weight to the scale. I am 109.2. I lost exactly three pounds in one week. Stick to the plan, guys. Stick to the plan. I stuck to the effing plan. 109.2. 109.2. That's crazy. That is crazy. What? What? Okay, now let's do our waist measurement and our hip measurement and let's get into it, okay? When? So my fiance, he guessed 110.4 and I guessed, I think, 109.8. 109.2, y'all. Sorry y'all are so crooked. My camera is fucking with me right now. But, yeah, 109.2. Let's see our waist because I've been being more diligent and um, wearing my waist trainer while I'm at work and things like that. Okay, so our waist, we're almost at 23. I'm gonna just say 23 and a half again because it's only 23 if I like squeeze it really hard. Glutes is always hard because I have to make sure it's like on the fattest part, but it's looking like 33, uh, 8, 9, 10, 33 and 9 So yeah, we're looking pretty good. Here's what the physique is looking like. I'm so happy. This is what happens when you stick to the plan. So 10 out of 10. All right, you guys. So on the phone with the Beba again. But I am about to do my check-in. I put my wig on again. That way I can practice the, you know, flip back. But yeah, you can finally see my glute. And it's not just fat. Like I know I got a fat ass, per. Thank you, mother. Thank you, Nana. But I need it to be muscular, so I'm happy about that. Just threw this wig on. She's from Amazon. Let me know if y'all want the code because this wig is like super simple and it's really just easy, but yeah, I will insert video footage that I take and send to my coach here and I'll put the check-in pics on the screen. But basically after I'm done checking in, I'm going to eat the rest of my five rice cakes and my protein shake and then I'm going to probably hold off on my oatmeal and my eggs because if I eat them now, I am just going to be ravenous for the rest of the day. And then like the worst thing on check-in days is that my coach don't be responding until like 
4 p.m. So I'm just like waiting all day like, oh my gosh, what, what is he gonna say? What's, what's T? And he be playing with me. So, yeah. I will be trying to edit my videos in the meanwhile to distract myself today because as you guys can see, that's why I opened up my doors. My room is finally cleaned. All of my upstairs is clean, all my downstairs is clean, so I'm trying to be in a mentally good space for the rest of this prep as my first prep, but your girl is tired, okay? Do you see the bag? Your girl is tired, but I'm gonna go. Hello, everybody. It is currently 2.46 a.m. March 28th, Thursday. I took my thermopill. I feel crazy right now because it has hit me. I took it 15 minutes ago and it's already like, boom, you know? <laughs> but yeah, this is what the physique is looking like. So I did not catch you guys up yesterday. My coach was very, very, very proud of my check-in. He's very proud of me. I did tell him that I will be doing a burger and fries post-show because that's what he requested and he, if you guys know anything about Adam, he he likes having easy preps, thinks you should only be 10 to 12% above your stage weight, so he gave me the numbers for that. He's thinking I should be about 104 for this show, which is absolutely insane. Like, 104 pounds at my big age? What? That's what he's saying because you still can't really see my tie-ins as you guys can see in the pictures. Like you can see like a little baby one on my right leg, but you can't see one on my left leg. So today is glutes and hamstrings today. So I'm about to hit this as hard as I can. Um, if you guys can hear my stomach, my stomach just growled. But Lent is over. So I just posted on my Instagram story. So if you guys wanna follow me on my fitness page, I do only like to follow fitness pages on my fitness page, so like, Maybe yeah, I don't like following like regular pages on my fitness page, so if you have fitness content, I will follow you back, but yeah, um, if y'all want to follow that, I will have it linked down below, and I usually have it popped up at Lenelli Fit, but yeah, 16 days out from the show. I see the other girls that are attending the show too and like where their physique is and you know it is a competition like Aurelia said in her video are you competing or are you being competitive right because <laughs> I'm trying to be competitive which is why I hired Adam so um yeah I'm getting like really really lean and I really just pray that everything works out and that I can get lean enough. Oops. I know you know. And that I can get lean enough because I am trying my hardest and like these seven by 60 of cardio, like I am really trying to do it, okay? But yeah, I'm about to go hit glutes and hamstrings and then I will talk to you guys when I have an update. I'm gonna try and uh, edit this video today. Hopefully I can telework today because they don't need me right now. So, yeah. Good morning, you guys. It is Friday, March 29th, 2.55 a.m. I am so tired. Um, my thermal pill should be kicking in anytime soon because I just took it 10 minutes ago. Yesterday I was being a little fat so so I always track how much I get throughout the week and then I subtract it from that. So then the closer we get to check-in day, the more hard it gets because I screw myself over in the beginning of the week, but that is how I think I like to do my prep is just like feel like I'm eating a lot at the beginning of the week and then just grind it out at the end. I don't know, it works for me, it works for me, but yeah, this is the ab check sideline check um i definitely need to hold my poses today and actually practice my posing in my heels before i go to work you know just a little rant real quick i really don't think the military is for me you know like i think i need to be doing 
YouTube. I think I need to be go back to being an engineer because the kind of people that I work with piss me off, like piss my life off. And I'm really trying to pray and be diligent about it and try and change my attitude and my outlook. But the kind of people are just like so different than me that it really like I have to drag my feet to go to work. Not because I'm lazy, because I do not like the people there. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And I know that's everywhere because I've worked at a civilian job. I used to work for Caterpillar. But it's just different when they have a chokehold on you and like kind of own you in a way. But I'm just glad I don't have an active duty service commitment so I can cut ties anytime I want. But yeah, just like my rant for the Like I, I really hate that I have to go to work. And that's all. Time to do back and shoulders. Hey guys, so it is now 6.46 a.m. If it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have been. But I'm on the phone with my fiance and I just got off the phone with my mom too. It's just one of those days, I think. So TMI, my last period was March 6th. It's now March 29th. So my period should be coming and if it doesn't come, I heard that you still get all the hormonal changes. You just don't actually get the period on prep. So. The fact that I've had it this long is really good. Tells me my body is still healthy, but I'm just going through it right now and uh, really need to pray about it because the prepping is prepping and I feel like hella emotional and very like my fuse is like this. So I'm just trying to get ready for work even though I really don't want to go to work. Yeah, I will see you guys when I see you next. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, March 30th, 3.26 a.m. I've been up for almost an hour now, but yeah, we are officially two weeks out, 14 days out, crazy. The thermal pill got me tweaking just a little bit, just a little bit, but Yes, today is total leg day, so I got hamstrings, got quads, and today is like the hardest day for me. So basically, I ate all of my pre-workout carbs. So what I was saying was, I ate all of my basically pre-workout carbs Thursday and Friday because I have this thing like right after check-in, like I'm like ravenously hungry. And then I just, I do track it on my phone and so I'm damn near like gassed the rest of the week and it's my own doing but that's how I like to do mine um, because I account for all my food for the week maybe not the healthiest option right but if you're disciplined and you want to do it this way you got to make up for it so yeah, basically all my carbs now for my lunch is going to come out, so that'll be interesting for the rest of the week, so yeah. But I'm headed to the gym. I'll let you guys know what I do. I'll probably go on a hike today just to move my body and help Queso get out some of his energy, so yeah, I will see you guys after. All right, guys, it is 10 a.m., and I just got back from a hike slash walk with queso but it was 57 minutes and I burned 445 calories so I burned a lot of calories but I forgot that I had just taken my thermal pill like 30 minutes before no I took my thermal pill like an hour before and my heart rate was at like 180 when I started the walk but I was wearing like my gym clothes layer, this layer, and then I had on my snow jacket, and I have on my snow pants, so we burned a good bit of calories. I have a credenza to build back there because I want to store some more um, like office supplies stuff over there and some other things and make it look all pretty in the entryway. So I'm gonna try and build that and not cry about it. Um, but I think I'm gonna take a bath first. 
so that way my muscles can like chill out because she's beat up right now. Queso is beat up right now. He's like <laughs> dead, but yeah. I will let you guys know when I'm doing something else. 14 days out, low energy, but this is grind time. It's grind time. Good morning, great people. 13 days out. Today is Sunday, March 31st, 8 a.m. I have basically been awake since two, and I was really trying to sleep in, but I couldn't, so. I only got like six hours and five minutes of sleep from my watch, so. Not the best, but my body did recover a little bit. Um, let me show you guys these plates that I got the other day. So I got these from Amazon. I'll have them linked down below, but they're just like smaller sized um, lipped plates because I love lipped plates for if you have like pasta or if you have a salad, it'll like, it's not quite a bowl, not just a flat plate. So I love these kind, but they are proportion controlled sizes. So like typically in America, we have like the huge plates and everything like that. And that makes like the psychology of it is that, oh, I have to fill up my plate. So if you get a smaller plate and you fill up your plate, it's gonna help you feel better about it. So that's the psychology behind it. Don't know if that's true, but I'm just gonna try it. And I used one yesterday and they're just so cute and so pretty. If you guys don't know, my kitchen has blue accents, like all of my dishware and everything. If it's colored, it is turquoise like literally this color, so yeah. And then my bikini bike came in. This took like five or six days to ship from Amazon. So I got the bikini bite and it helps your suit not slip. So I have been obsessed with prep vlogs and show day vlogs. Um, I don't know why on YouTube it's so hard to find show day vlogs from like amateur competitors like first time competitors or npc bikini like it's really hard a lot of wellness competitors are like pushed in the algorithm but yeah i have to like scope to find um some bikini competitors but anyway um they use the bikini bite so i got this because i am 13 days out i've been packing my luggage already for my show that way I can have everything ready because, um, so I don't know if I told you guys this breakdown and if I did, I'll cut this out. But Thursday, so in, what is that? In like eight days, I have my sew-in. So I'll have my sew-in on the Thursday before my show. And then that Friday, I have an Airbnb up in Denver because my sister is flying out to come see me, which is so special for me. So if you guys don't know, I have five siblings. Sorry, this is just gonna be a talking portion, but yeah, I have five siblings. Um, so my oldest sibling is coming to see me and she's flying from Florida. So the rate for a two room hotel was going to be twice the amount as just the regular Airbnb. So the Airbnb, we get the whole basement to ourselves and it's two bedrooms and then there's like a living room area, a little kitchenette and everything like that. So my friends who are also coming to the show in between pre-judging and finals, they can all come back to the Airbnb with me and we can hang out and um, they can have somewhere to stay in between the two before we need to go back. So yeah, there's actually like a couple of people coming to support me, which I'm very, very appreciative of. And I just feel so like loved and supported. It's kind of like my late birthday celebration <laughs> too, um, cause my birthday was in February, but yeah. Anyway, so my sister is coming out and my fiance, as you guys know, is coming. 
So they are literally landing at Denver five minutes apart from each other and they're leaving five minutes apart from each other because Stanley, who's my fiance, he booked the tickets after my sister got her tickets to line it up, which was so thoughtful and considerate of him. So yeah, on Friday, we have the Airbnb. So I have to go pick them up from Denver and then we're gonna go to the Airbnb. And then um, my tan is at 3.20 p.m. on that Friday. So like you get two base coats or whatever. I've never been tanned before. So you get two base coats. And then um, athlete check-ins are from 4 to 7 p.m. And then Saturday morning, it starts at 10 a.m. for pre-judging. And then when I go for the tan on Friday, they're gonna tell me when I come on Saturday to get my like top coat. So I won't know what time I have to show up, but usually it's like three or 4 a.m. So yeah, my Airbnb is only like five to 10 minutes away from the hotel, so that's pretty good. I'll probably just have Stanley chauffeur me around in my car. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm really excited for this whole journey. Um, I did start my period yesterday, so that's amazing. I am literally 13 days out and have my period still. So that tells me my body, like I'm just so thankful for my body and thankful for her remaining healthy and to God for allowing me to do this process and it to not screw me up mentally and physically like how some girls uh get screwed up so i love that my hormones are balanced it's easter so happy resurrection sunday the fact that i have it two weeks out is kind of crazy and i'm like am i not lean enough so yeah anyway i'm gonna stop rambling because i need to go to the gym but yeah i'll see you guys when i get back guys so the short and skinny go to the gym have my key fob it turns green and then it immediately turns red. I check my active and fit. I have my pay on auto pay. I paid it March 8th of 2024. Today is March 31st. So my next payment is April 8th. Um, anytime fitness, I have had it up to here with my gym. They're so unprofessional and I've just had like so many things happen with them in a short period of time that it's like, who is running this? anytime like so that has now prompted me me and stanley wanted to build our own gym anyway um i'm about to get a dumbbell set from walmart something cute and light because it's shoulder day it's shoulder and glute day for me so i need to get something that i can do for my shoulder and glute day but in the meanwhile i'm about to go on this 60 minute light jog because when i can't go on the Stairmaster. I have never not gone on the Stairmaster this whole time. I have never not had access to my gym this whole time. But of course, 13 days out, we gotta make do. It's Easter, I'm lucky to be alive. There are ways around this, so I just need to go on this run right now. Not how I planned my morning, not how I wanted it to go. So I'm gonna change out of these clothes and change into something that's more runner friendly because I have on my like bell bottoms. So I'm gonna go do that. Case already has his harness on. I'm charging his light because it's 4 a.m. so it's dark outside. And I'm not trying to get killed. So Queso can come along with me and I need to see where he's at. So charging his little LED light thing and then we're gonna go on. What I'm talking about though, like. <sighs> I just finished running five miles with Queso. And this was our outfit. I had the, the runner's essential on and have my Brooks. Some leggings is what I changed into in this Nike dry fit thing underneath. But I am about to get in my car so I can head to Walmart to get the dumbbells so that I can do my workout here. Let me show you how cold it was outside. So it was approximately 37 degrees with a feel like of 33 degrees. And I didn't have my gloves on because I didn't want to run with that. I need to make sure that I could stab somebody if I needed to. So I didn't have my gloves on. Queso was over here pooped. This was Queso's reflective outfit. He's, <laughs> he's so tired. <laughs> but um, 
yeah, so I'm about to get in my car, go to Walmart and get some weights because it is now 5.42. And I gotta do this before church. And just so y'all can see, I did run for an hour, burned 366 calories. And by run, it was like more of a jog run, like a light run. That way it didn't put too much pressure on my knees because my left knee is always trying to kick me in my A. Get these weeks. trying to burn your CDs in my new shit. You be like, who's this? I be like me, girl. You be like, oh, word, true shit. Then ask if we can listen to Ludacris. Car rides made me feel like I was losing it. Yeah, made me feel like I ain't happy like that. I was average like that. Started drinking way more than I used to. People form habits like that, girl. Yeah. Man enough to tell you I was hurt that year. I'm not even Christian. I still want to church that year. Guess I just had to attend that year. I ain't even see my friends that year. That shit been. You ain't really fuck with me way back then. But how about now? Cause I'm up right now. And you suck right now. Oh, you thought you had it out. Figured out back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. And you suck right now. Yeah. Thought the little effort that you put in was enough, girl. How about now? I'm watching Shantae's vlog. Just started, cause she just posted, per. And here is my lunch for today. It's gonna be the same thing for lunch and dinner for me for the next four days, because I told you guys I ate all my carbs on Thursday and Friday, so this is what I get. So yeah, I'll just be having ground turkey breast and lettuce. You guys saw the pump that I got. Pretty good, our muscles are starting to do what they need to do. The lines are starting to show up finally. But um, yeah, I need to clean my kitchen. I need to edit my three week out video. I'll probably do that. And I need to get my life together before I have to go back to work. And I will talk to y'all probably tomorrow. Good morning, great people. It is Monday, April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day, 2.55 a.m. I have my gym clothes on. This is the fit for today. Very, very Power Ranger-esque. Okay, honestly, I need to tell you guys something. So I just came downstairs and had to blow out my candle because I forgot that I lit a candle. And I forget so much stuff on prep. Let me know if you guys are like that too because I feel crazy. And then I never forget to blow out my candles because why would I want to burn my house down, <laughs> you know? And so that was burning like all night, like all night, all night. So let me know if y'all's prep brain is as bad as mine because she really be acting wild. Um, I just weighed myself with all of my clothes on, like literally just now weighed myself and I'm 115. I am on my period, as I told you guys, so we got two days to 
dropped like eight pounds. I know weight fluctuates and with water and everything like that. So we were fine last week and dropped three pounds last week. So I imagine it's going to be similar, but yeah, had this leg day. My left knee is causing me a lot of pain right now, even as I slept, like it's pretty painful, but uh, we work. I feel like my legs are finally slimming down. This is like the last chunk that I need to lose of fat on my body. And I feel like we can get that done, right? We can get that done. I was thinking about shrink wrapping it, but I was like, let me not do too much. Okay. I'll see y'all tomorrow, but I need to edit my three week out vlog. I got to like 12 minutes, but it's an hour and 10 minutes of footage. Arelia just posted her video. So I'm about to watch that for cardio today. It's only 38 minutes, so please make it longer, ma'am. But 38 minutes, that will pass by much, much faster for me. So I'm gonna eat my two rice cakes and then head to the gym. So I'll see y'all later. Oh, also, do we like the press-ons? I did my press-on nails. I don't know if I showed you guys. So these are the first time I've ever done press on nails and I think they're cute. Um, they're in regs so I can wear them to work. And yeah, I wanted to practice and whenever my press on nails come in, I'll show you guys which ones I got, but these ones I just picked up from Walmart. So yeah, they're super cute and really classy and minimal. All right you guys, so here is my breakfast. I just have my bubbly, my eggs, in case so wants me to play ball with him um so yeah just have my eggs my bubbly and then I have to take all of my supplements since you guys have not seen my supplements before I'll just go through them so I have my CLA dim fish oil a multivitamin ALA and a probiotic and once again I will have this linked down below so you guys can get it from Amazon and yeah I just had my protein shake too and that's all I get for the morning I can't have my oatmeal um, I am hungry just took my second thermo pill and yeah I am going to eat this shower and then I gotta go to work Hopefully I will not chicken out and bring my laptop so I can work on that video because it's gonna take forever to edit, so why not do it during eight hours in the day? Good morning, great people. It is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2.50 a.m. I have been up since about 1 a.m., 1.15 a.m. Some like it, I got horrible sleep um from my watch it says but we ball i feel like my outfit is so cute today i have on this lulu top and then these lavender arola leggings and then some sweats over it and my nike my lavender nike top and I'm just about to eat these two rice cakes. I only get BCAAs today because I ate like all my carbs this week and it makes sense because I was on my period. I am on my period. So yeah, needed all the fats, all the things. My body craved it and I gave in. Um, is that good for me? I don't know. We'll see. I have to play the weight Olympics like Shantae and Aurelia. <laughs> like, okay, I need to be this weight. So we'll see how check-ins go tomorrow. I just hit 1,500 subscribers yesterday, so on April 1st, and I have been trying to hit 1,500 subscribers for the last almost three and a half, four years. So thank you guys so much. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers before June. That would be great. If we hit 2,000 subscribers, I will give away something. Probably like a gift card or something. So. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. You look great today. You look very beautiful. Stop, I'm camera shy. All right, you guys, so just got back from the gym. My hair is so sweaty. Look at the growth, though. We appreciate her. But yeah, I am so, so sweaty. You can see how sweaty I am because you can see, like, my abs through my shirt. But yeah, looking pretty lean. 
I am going to try and telework today because I have so much stuff that I need to get done and I don't want to be bothered with people at work when I can do everything from home. So I'm gonna do that today. I wanted to show you guys some of my packages that I got. Okay, so the first one I got this package from Shein. I got two things. So I needed some new jeans because obviously my waist is now a 23 and a half. So I don't fit any of my pants except for a couple pairs that I got from Shein that were a little tighter around the waist, but they're like really stretchy. So I just picked up the same pair, but in a different wash. This wash is so pretty to me. And I like the bell bottom flares because I have very long legs. So the bell bottoms help balance out my broad shoulders. So I got these and then I got these ones. And they're just like light wash jeans, mom jeans, very baggy. So hopefully these fit. These are really, really small. So I hope they can fit my butt. But yeah, I got this in an extra small and that in a medium because I always go off the size guides. So yeah, it's good I got these today because it's trash day. And then I told you guys a couple days ago that I ordered some new nails. So I think I showed you guys yesterday when I had put on my nails or two days ago whenever I did. I got an order from kiss.com directly because I don't like spending money on Amazon and giving my money to Amazon if I don't need to because Prime just doesn't Prime anymore. Let me know down below if y'all feel the same. Like after my year subscription is up in October, I'm done with her, okay? She doesn't Prime anymore. I got this brush on nail glue and this is because I am doing my nails for show day. So I got a couple different options that I wanted to try. Honestly, these ones are super pretty, so I might do something classy like this, but depending on my suit color. So by the time I post this, it'll be okay that you guys know anyway. So my suit color is one of these options. Just leave the comments down below. Leave the comments down below and tell me what you think it is. But yeah, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven pairs of nails and I'll show you guys here. I got this one, super pretty. This one, kind of similar to this nail color except a little bit darker. This one, these are actually for my toes, so I am not getting a pedicure either. I just wanted to do some press-ons, so I got these for my toes. This color, really pretty. This color, And these ones, which are so gorgeous. So yeah, comment down below what suit color you think I'm going with for the competition. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know what more content you want me to shoot. And I can't wait to try these nails on. I am going to put these in my carry-on, which I'm going to film a what I'm packing with me for show day video that will be up probably before this so yeah i will see you guys in the next one i'll talk to you guys at peak week bye